All right, I guess we better start doing this okay. thing. Okay. All right, I'm in your hands. Hello, Felicity Urquhart. Welcome to Sister in Song Sessions. I feel like I just want to jump through the screen and give you a big hug because that's how we properly greet. So I guess I'm going to jump right in and say, what has your experience been as a female country music artist? Gee, there's where you can go anywhere with that, can't you? <laughs> I, I mean, I've been lucky uh, to still have a career today. I've got children I've been able to have a family and still be present in the industry uh, and also dabble in different areas of the industry so I'm always telling uh, any young artists logs any door that comes to you just open it and walk through it and some of them are pretty scary to know what's on the other side but I and I know you're the same Lenny we encourage the young girls who are taking up the baton to just be brave and you've got to make your own path and and so what works for one artist is not a carbon copy for the next one because we're individual and everyone's you know musical uh sound and and expression is different so that so should our journey be different in your career so far what would you say looking back at it has given you the most satisfaction i, I guess some of the highlights have been the pitfalls actually like losing a deal with emi records because it made me work out then well what do i actually want to do um i why was i a yes man why did i have to think that i had to do everything they asked me to do and then it made me take stock and then so i guess thank you emi for <laughs> dropping me <laughs> so if you want to really dissect it then I'm grateful for negative things that have happened to me because out of it I got better or stronger or, yeah. or found, found the real me. Now, Fliss, as you know, um, both of us being Tamworth girls, I have um, pretty much grown up listening to you my whole life. <laughs> your music has been, not to make you feel old or anything. Yeah, like yeah, that's <laughs> right. She's just a baby. Yeah. <laughs> now I feel old because you said it. <laughs> What would you say it is about music that's so important to you? The freedom that I do that naturally because it makes you get out any of oh, that caught up emotion that comes from life, from relationships or from frustration or from love or any of that comes out. Yeah. And it, it's an avenue to do that. And how lucky are we? if you're a creative person that you get to express yourself through some form of art josh is so incredibly like he's so good with his hands he's always got a trowel in one and a bloody guitar shovel in the other and, yeah <laughs> a guitar in the other and he's always doing something yeah it has that motivated you a bit too maybe i've had a few side digs from mates going oh josh is doing everything what are you doing and i actually have been participating in the home projects our covid projects of sprucing up a little outdoor area and and uh and yeah josh is incredible with his creativity but his also ability to do it it's one thing to go oh that'd look good there but he actually can get in and do it and yes seeing his creativity then I've been oh I'm going to change that pot and I'm going to paint it and I want to put some um special little motives on it and all that sort of nice. stuff so I've been doing a little bit of that and the kids involvement with it as well because there's homeschooling going on and we haven't done a lot of music action and I think because there's been a lot of a lot of dates, uh, tour dates that we've had to move or, or, or even put back as far as next year. So first of all, there was the shuffle for a couple of months and now we're looking at postponing till next year, a lot of things. So it's just, that's heartbreaking. It does play on your mind, but it's also great that it, Josh keeps me on the straight and narrow going, well, we've got this, these projects at home. So let's just do the daily thing of that and and, get through and we look back at what's been achieved for the day and go, well, that's all right, we've done something. Yeah. <laughs> so, And the kids are thriving. They're actually loving homeschooling and I'm not stressing like I did last year. Yep. 
I thought, okay, I told the girls, I mean, they're only eight and 10, but I said, it's up to you girls. It's your work. I can't do it for you and do what you can and then get outside and have fun. Yeah, and put, build a retaining wall. Yeah, and help us pick up some rocks and work here, <laughs> put some gloves on and build some walls. That's right. But, I mean, I, you know, I guess that's what's getting you through, right? I mean, we've had such yes. a, a terrible time. Keeping busy is and, and, and just being present. Yeah, absolutely. Even though I think maybe you made a you would have made a good landscaper, please. Um, what what made you distant <laughs> director of landscaping? Oh. Pick that up. Put that well, there. I'm a good sweeper, cleaner upper, and I'll just sort that out after. Or can I wash those things? Or and cleaning out the mixer. You know, I can I can do some dirty jobs. Don't worry. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. When did you know that you were going to be a musician? When did you? What was the pivotal moment that you thought, oh, this is going to be my career? Oh, I just wanted to when I was a kid. Uh, I I don't even exactly know the age. I look at my girls and think. I, I was like them, singing at home, recording a radio program in my bedroom, putting a sign on the door, you know, I'm coming in, like, well, recording, don't come in. And, and that was on the cassette. I would be the DJ and then I'd also sing the songs and then back announce myself and then I'd be Dolly Parton followed by John Williamson and, or whoever we went and saw locally that mum and dad took us to shows or if there was a musical production and they took us to see that. I'd come home and try and sing, you know, the chorus song that I could remember. And it was in me that I I had dreams and aspirations to do something like that. And lo and behold, it, both of those things came true. I got to work in radio for 10, 11 years and then I have also had a career in music. And, and when you're in your bedroom, if we go back in time, mm-hmm. take you to that moment, you know, you're that little girl big dreams who was the artist you most wanted to be dolly parton i mean she was larger than life she and i had videos that friends sent uh vhs videos back in the day that they'd sent from oh, yeah. recordings you, you and i think you've got a similar story and they yeah. were sent and i'd sit there watching these videos when they would arrive and she just would explode on the screen her beautiful personality that she wrote the songs, she was funny, she looked amazing. And so there was a lot of sparkle to Dolly, not just the sequence, but her personality Mm. sparkled. And so she made me smile. And I guess that's, uh, I wanted to do that too. But then I also was taken by um, Willow's comical song. So I would flip that and then sing um, the vasectomy song. you know record that and and I, i'm sure i didn't quite get the what it was really all about as a kid but that's the, the flip because i knew it was fun and you weren't ready for that were you i was not i did not see that one coming <laughs> now fliss knowing you and linny the friendship that you two have even just alone and the friendship that i've been able to build with the both of you what does female friendship mean to you Oh, it's it's so honest when you can just actually uh, have that other connection that you don't have with um, with even um, I mean I've got a beautiful mum and a beautiful sister, but having girlfriends is a different relationship that you can open up about other heart to heart things that you're feeling that. Um, you just know is in a safe place and you're going to get a, a beautiful response. Sometimes it's not always uh, the flowery response you might want. Like, you know, Lenny can be honest and just say, hey, you know, really pull awesome. me up. And it's great. And that, what do they call that? It's like a, um, oh, I was reading this for the kids the other day about what you want to be as a parent is not just a friend. You want to be a fierce friend. Oh, and yeah, that's- Lovely. And, it, and it is because you want to be there and and reliable, but you also want to make your friends and your children accountable. Like you want to be that truthful soundboard that calls a spade a spade. You have this ability to help 
other women value themselves and to be a little less, you know, self-deprecating and more aware of our, our needs and yeah. our worthiness. And I think that's something you do across the board, not just with women you're close to. No. Oh. I, I think you do that really well. Well, I don't know if you know you do that, but no. it just kind of emanates from me like Jesus, like <laughs> female Jesus. If you had to suggest a female artist for people to be listening to and paying attention to and kind of bring into the forefront of their minds, who would you suggest? Yes. Yeah, like you said, one. Well, That's yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, you can You're allowed to have many. <laughs> it's really tricky. Um, and there's uh, different reasons for different artists, I think, it, and at different times you want to listen to music that just makes you feel a certain way and sometimes that's I just want to dance and sing along and mm. um, or rock out and I want a bit of Cheryl but then I want to um, get the visual and I want to have my dolly moments or I want to hear the angel voice of Alison Krauss uh, or I want to think about times I've been in the room with beautiful Kim Ritchie and I'll just have hours and I'll put back-to-back -back albums of Kim <laughs> like it's it depends what you're feeling but I think messages are important and I also love sitting down and going what are the, what are my gal pals in Australia doing and we had a Linny are oh, the kids just go nuts um and you know oh, you should sing that song of Linny's song. I go well Linny does it so you know it's a bit hard to do that one um but it is really nice as well and I show the kids and and as well Logan with the new song I pointed out how Logan is singing in Logan's voice and I think um because you're new and up and coming and introducing that to the kids that it's important that they see young artists doing that so I love that our Australian artists use their voices and have their stories and I, I think that that is great you're doing a great thing for the next generation and being a role model it's it is important and it's not something to be scoffed at I think um, whether you know you're doing it or not it's it is an important thing to do and you're on the right track hey listen share your voice with us would you before you go my voice we uh, you did say to put a guitar handy so I I, I mean you've only got 800 there in the background we're talking about women and the importance of them so i wrote for the lovely book um uh dear mum the one that's out that lynn is in as well raising funds for cancer beautiful samuel johnson again this is round three dear santa dear dad and now dear mum so i thought i would write mum a song because that speaks more to her than than uh a letter. It's, it's called Very Creative Title, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Page 64, I think it is, if you want the lyrics. <laughs> mother in the mirror, mother in the aging face. Mother is a sunshine, keeper of the goodness sake. Mother of the family, handing out the truth in the dark. Mother is a safety, handing out the help when it's hard. Well, it's golden and it's pure, like a fortress, so secure. Through the ages till kingdom come, there is nothing like a mother's love. That is beautiful. Thank you. Good luck with your new song. <laughs> Thanks so much. It was so good to have you, Bliss. Can't wait to see you. Bye. Thanks for listening, Oket. Thanks, guys. Bye,